The Lenovo YogaBook 9i is one of the more interesting laptops I've tested in the last year. It's not for everybody, but if it's for you, you're gonna love it. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals and I really like this laptop. It's totally unusual. As you can see from the screenshots, it's got two screens. That second screen taking the place of where you would normally find the keyboard and trackpad. This device was sent to me. However, this is not a sponsored review. So my opinions here, are my own. And when I come across an experiment like this, I come at it with a fair amount of skepticism, but this one, it slowly won me over. If you're looking for a laptop that you might use to replace a traditional laptop for what I would consider traditional laptop things, this might be worth looking into. If you're looking for an illustration device, Mm, I'm not sure this one really fits the bill. Even though this comes with a pen, this pen is a battery powered pen. It feels like an MPP pen. I'm not sure if it is or not, but those pens tend to be designed for handwriting and palm recognition more than illustration and really good line quality. So what makes this laptop so unique are those two 13 inch OLED displays. Each one of those is 2.8K, which is 2,880 pixels by 1,800 pixels running at 60 hertz. On that bottom screen, if you tap with eight fingers, you can turn this into a traditional keyboard trackpad layout. Now, since this is just a screen, you're not gonna actually feel the keys. There's no tactile feedback. There are some haptics as you go ahead and tap on that keyboard or use that trackpad. One of the nice things about that trackpad is it's not just the little square area that's a trackpad. The entire bottom portion of that screen becomes your trackpad. And while the haptics are a nice touch, if this is all this laptop was, I would say, meh, nice experiment, but move on. But that isn't all this laptop is because it comes with some accessories. First off, I wanna talk about this little keyboard. When I saw the screenshots of this, I expected a very lightweight, inexpensive keyboard, but it is a higher quality than I thought it would be. It carries over the same greenish blue brush metal aesthetic that the rest of the laptop has. The keyboard magnetically slots into place on top of that bottom portion of the screen, giving you that tactile keyboard that feels so much better to write on for long stretches of time. I was a little concerned when I started typing, I was afraid to place my palms down on the trackpad because I thought it was gonna start moving the cursor around. I was genuinely surprised how that didn't happen. In fact, I can rest my palms naturally on the screen, use my thumb to move around with the trackpad while typing on the keyboard, just like I would with any other laptop. I did not expect it to work that well. The trackpad works, I guess it works fairly well. You know, my thumb will occasionally stick to the screen because it is a glass screen. And when you're dragging a finger across it, the resistance is a little bit different than a normal trackpad. Now all of this is fine, but the killer app, not really an app, but an accessory is the stand. I know, I know stands are not killer apps, but hear me out. The stand allows you to open up this laptop and use it as like a two monitor setup. You could set your keyboard down below, it clicks into place or you can really move it anywhere you want. And I loved using it this way for writing scripts, replying to emails, even some light video editing. I, I really liked this form factor. The device they sent me came with a mouse. I don't know if all of them come with mice. I don't think they do, but if you use it like this, I would really recommend getting some kind of Bluetooth mouse. A lot of experimental products like this come about because engineers ask, can we do it? And they never stop to ask, should we do it? Since Windows now rotates pretty easily, you can also use this in portrait mode if you prefer two taller screens. Now the software that makes all of this work, I felt worked pretty well. It was decent. Every so often you would run into a bump in the road. For the most part, it was solid. For example, a hiccup that you might run into is you might be installing a new app and Windows just kind of takes over both screens. And so you can no longer use your trackpad and you have to use the touch screen in order to go next, next, next and get that installed. But those sorts of things were few and far between. So now that I've gone over the things I like about this, we should probably talk about drawing. This does come up with a pen, which has its strengths and it has its weaknesses. First of all, it has fantastic palm rejection. That's something that these pens do extraordinarily well. So if you're doing a lot of handwriting and if you're taking notes, that's exactly what this pen is meant for. The downside of this is these pens tend to have a lot of wobble to their line. This isn't something you're gonna notice if you're drawing fast or writing quickly. However, as soon as you slow down and try to get some accuracy there, you're gonna see a lot, and I mean a lot of wobble. This makes it very hard to use this 
for really crisp line art. If you want to do that sort of thing, what you're going to have to do is really crank up the smoothing inside one of your drawing apps. Of course, that also has some minuses to it. For example, your lines become way harder to start and stop and control and do fine gestures and movements. So for example, the background that I'm drawing here has a lot of straight lines. In order to offset the jiggliness of the pen, I'm using some drawing grids and things like that to make that easier. And by the way, if you like this illustration, I cover this style in my Learn How to Draw in 60 Days course, which just launched. It's exactly what it sounds like. Every day, there's a little like three, five, 10 minute lesson where we cover some fundamental of drawing. They build on each other every day and you learn some fundamental skills and have some fun stuff to draw. There's a lot more I could say about it, but just make sure you check out the discount code down below in the description before you check out. That'll save you a little bit of cash. Now there is a small battery in the back of this pen and like other WPP pens, it should last a few months, possibly up to a year. It's hard to tell just testing this thing for a few days, but usually they last a while. It's a shame about the pen because I can think of so many cool ways that we could use both of these screens. For example, I could put some reference art on the top screen while I am drawing on the bottom screen. This is also a 360 degree hinge, so you can fold the entire thing over and choose one of the screens that you want to draw on tablet style. But what about the specs? Let's talk about how this thing runs. First up, we have an Intel 13th gen Core i7 processor in this thing with 16 gigabytes of RAM. This laptop is isn't really built for processing and hardcore performance. However, it's gonna handle any drawing app that you throw at it. Photoshop, Clip Studio, Paint, Krita, anything is gonna run just fine. Where you're gonna run into things is say you're doing some 3D rendering using something like Blender. It can do some lightweight stuff, but if you're getting larger projects and bigger files in there, you're really gonna notice that slowdown. I could use this thing for video editing. I think it would be phenomenal for video editing. However, I wouldn't wanna do some hardcore like 4K processing on this thing. You can, it's just gonna take some time. This is also a very good looking laptop not just the screens but the entire finish it's it's really great to see that that also carries over to the keyboard the surprise of this device were the speakers they sound great but also they're very loud when i first went to play anything on these speakers they weren't turned up that high but the volume was really intense for tiny little laptop speakers. As far as I.O., we have three USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports. We also have a power button and a little switch that flips on and off the webcam. One of the things that is missing here is a headphone jack. Now, I know that this is where devices are going nowadays. Everybody's going with Bluetooth headphones. One of the things that I personally run into is I spend my days editing video. That means I'm dealing with a lot of audio. I have my headphones on all day. Bluetooth headphones run out of batteries, and when they do, I am dead in the water. So without a headphone jack, makes it a really hard recommend in terms of doing any kind of long-term video editing on this thing. Some other little odds and ends that are worth mentioning. The fan does kick in from time to time. It's a low hum. It's not too loud. I didn't find it uh, disruptive or anything like that. And the other thing worth noting is that bottom screen does get warm. All the processors and things like that are underneath that screen. So if you want to draw on it for like a long drawing session, what I'd recommend is actually using the other screen. Flip it around into tablet mode, you know, hold it comfortably and draw on the other screen where you don't have all the internals right underneath it. So overall, what do I think? I think this is a great laptop, although I don't think it's for everybody. If I was still a designer doing UX, UI, product design, I think something like this would work really, really well. But nowadays doing video editing, not having a headphone jack is a tough one to swallow. The other thing is I do a lot of illustration now. And again, not having a really great pen, only a mediocre pen, another hard thing to swallow. So it's really gonna depend on your use case as to whether this laptop fits you. For those of you who see the utility of having those two beautiful screens, you are gonna love this thing. For everybody else, maybe wait a couple generations and see if some of those other things improve. But what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.